Hello and welcome to another Click Tips and Trick video. I'm Shulbin Patel from analyticshub.io where one and only one goal we have is to make you an awesome Click developer. In today's video, we're going to go over how to reuse master item. So master items are super useful when you create a ClickSense application since your users can use master measures without knowing how to write an expression. But sometimes you need to reuse a master item into another master item for a new measure. So one of the constraints is that you cannot use a master item into another master item. But there is a way to circumvent this by using a variable and dollar sign expansion. So without further ado, let's dive in and look at an example to reuse a master item. All right, so I have a table with category, cells, and margin. Now, let's assume I want to add margin percent. And the expression for that is sum of margin divided by sum of cells. So we do have master items for cells and margin but we don't have one for margin percent. So in order to use sales and margin in the margin percent formula, I cannot use existing master items. So let's quickly look at the master items. Look at master measures. We have margin and sales. So if you look at the definition, margin sum of margin, sales sum of line sales amount. But as I said, the constraint is I cannot use this to create another master item. So what we're going to do is to create a variable. So we're going to create V cells and that's sum of line cells mount. And we're going to create another one for margin called V margin. That's sum of margin. All right, now we're going to come back to this two measures that we already created and let's replace them with dollar sign expansion. So anytime you want to use a variable in an expression, you got to use this macro expansion function called dollar sign expansion, which is a dollar function with the name of the variable. In this case, it's V margin and make sure the expression is fine, apply and that is the expression for margin now using dollar sign expansion. Same way for sales, I can use dollar sign expansion with V cells. Okay, as you see, sales and margin numbers are still fine. So now in order to create another major, I'm going to add that here as a new major and that's going to be dollar V margin divided by dollar V cells. So effectively we're replacing master item expression for each of these two master item measures that we already created, one for margin, one for sales. And at this point, I do have it, and I can call it margin percent. And the trick here is that ClickSense also allows you to add this measure to your master item library. So I can click on add new, and the expression, the name, and all that's populated for me. I can assign a color if I like and create one. So next time I can use that margin percent in a chart if I need to, or my users can use this master major going forward. Now, the only thing I need to do here is to come back and change the number format. So we're going to change it to number and the percent. And there you have it. So you, now know how to reuse a master item into another master item expression, even though directly you cannot use master item, but by creating variable for each of the master items, and then using those variables is dollar sign expansion for each of the master major is an effective way to reuse master items for 
additional master mazers that you may want to create in the future. So thank you for watching and if you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also share our videos and visit analyticshub.io slash academy and join free membership. We have a ton of content for you to explore as in our free membership. So again, thank you for watching and until next video, have a great day.